Hey, did we overlook the spectacular news that Joe Biden has chosen his post-president profession? That he's announced his intention to design, manufacture, transport, and sell so-called green household heating appliances? Well, no, of course we didn't. Biden never has intimated such plans in any way. He's not interested in entering the free market and peacefully competing to attract consumer interest now. Instead, you got it. He's using $85 million to prop up his pet climate cult members, the makers of said green appliances that already are not attracting consumer interest. How nifty. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV, and here's the story. As Owen Klinsky reports for the Daily Caller, quote, the Biden administration is deploying roughly $85 million to boost production of a green appliance despite plummeting consumer demand, according to a Wednesday press release from the U.S. Department of Energy, DOE, end quote. But hey, why get upset? This is, after all, the ever-loving, unquestioningly constitutional, wink wink, Department of Energy, the central authority that already has brought about the demise of the incandescent Edison light bulb, already worked to slowly strangle the sale of natural gas stoves, claimed it's saving consumers money by imposing anti-market mandates on the makers of clothes, washers, and dryers, introduced new mandates that will force home builders and buyers to install only certain kinds of gas stoves and subsidized electric bus makers with sketchy ties to the woman who heads the Department of Energy. <laughs> Why worry? It's totally fine, totally constitutional, totally ethical. Writes Klinsky, quote, the White House on Wednesday announced nearly $85 million in grants for four producers of electric heat pumps, the DOE wrote in a statement. The announcement comes despite cratering demand for the electric appliance, with total U.S. shipments of the product falling 16% in 2023, despite the federal tax credit being raised from $300 to $2,000 in January 2023, according to a study from the University of California, Berkeley's Haas School of Business, end quote. What a relief. For a moment, it seemed as if the government might allow those ignorant, brain-addled consumers out there their God-given right to peacefully buy what they want. And of course, that the government might possibly allow manufacturers of household heaters the chance to make and sell what they want to make and sell, free from fascist diktats and subsidies to their heat pump competitors. Ah, but this continues the plan of attack on which we at MRC TV reported in November of last year, an attack that sees the feds pull a Soviet style central plan to prop up widely rejected heat pumps in their tired, hoary, egomaniacal attempt to tell others how to live. And so the plan to pump up the sales suffering heat pump makers continues apace. We want to pump you up. Quote, the Biden-Harris administration's investing in America agenda is manufacturing hundreds of thousands of energy saving heat pumps here in the USA, helping American households and businesses keep money in their pockets. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm said in the release, end quote, yes, that's Jennifer Granholm, who, after helping electric bus maker Proterra get millions in federal subsidies when she was governor of Michigan, was brought on the board of Proterra after she left office, then was given a big Proterra stock package upon leaving the board and just prior to joining the Bidenistas as so-called energy secretary. 
And then, of course, yes, she is the same person who sold her stock for nearly $3 million just weeks prior to Proterra filing for federal bankruptcy protection. Yeah, Jennifer Granholm. You can thank her anytime you like. Quote, heat pumps cost an average of $10,750 to install as opposed to an average cost of $4,700 for a new furnace in 2024, according to Forbes. Heat pumps have also been significantly less cost effective to operate with average U.S. residential electricity prices rising 6.2% in 2023, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, EIA. Meanwhile, natural gas prices have plummeted more than 70% in the past two years from nearly $9 per MMBTU in August 2022 to record lows under $2 per MMBTU in 2024, the EIA reported, end quote. Well, we'll just have to be sure that the Biden administration keeps trying to undercut natural gas exploration and importation to change that downward price for gas curve and make the heat pumps, yes, much more attractive. Central planning sure is awesome, isn't it? Klinsky also refers to the matter about which we warned in November, quote, the $85 million in grants are the second round of funding the Biden administration has provided to heat pump manufacturing, with the administration unleashing $169 million to subsidize nine projects in November 2023. Under President Biden and Vice President Harris's leadership, the United States is supercharging U.S. clean energy manufacturing, which is creating good paying jobs, lowering families' energy costs, and helping tackle the climate crisis, all while boosting our nation's energy security. White House climate advisor Ali Zaidi said in the DOE press release, end quote. Perhaps you're like I am and you're getting pretty darn tired of politicians claiming that every dumb and immoral plan they concoct has some bearing on so-called security. Quote, in February, the Biden administration finalized regulations increasing minimum water and energy efficiency levels for residential washers and dryers. Meanwhile, in April, the White House enacted a rule banning gas stoves and appliances in federal buildings, end quote. How about they ban federal buildings? We'd save a lot if they actually did that. Of course, those federal buildings, well, they represent something important. On the whole, they stand as monuments to the metastasizing, pernicious, parasitic central government and its hubristic occupants. They represent the ever-growing Leviathan that, regardless of the purported constitutional constraints and clearly limited powers, well, of course, those offices expand their claims of power and the people in them continue to expand their claims of fascistic, federal, paradigmatic control over our lives. Adds Klinsky, quote, Biden's regulatory blitz on appliances is expected to increase expenses for the average American home by more than $9,000. President Joe Biden is using his wartime emergency powers authorized under the Defense Production Act in conjunction with the Inflation Reduction Act to unleash the taxpayer dollars needed to fund the heat pump projects. Using Defense Production Act funds for heat pump manufacturing shows that President Biden is treating climate change as the crisis it is. John Podesta, senior advisor to the president for clean energy innovation and implementation said of the first round of funding in November 2023, end quote. Ah, yes, the Defense Production Act, you know, because there's no constitutionally declared war. So why not magically claim wartime emergency powers? And how about that Inflation Reduction Act? 
Yeah, it didn't reduce inflation at all. It increased the payload of propaganda and federal spending we have to suffer. You know, it would be a different matter if Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Jennifer Granholms and all of their ilk left office and tried their schemes in a free market. They'd be operating in a peaceful manner and they wouldn't be forcing us to subsidize things we don't want. But that's not their preference. Clearly, they prefer to take our cash, push around appliance makers, steer industries and energy preferences, and screw up the market. They're dangerous and assumptive, and not one iota of their silly rhetoric will ever hide that fact. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Please follow us on Rumble, where they don't censor us, and spread the words far and wide via the video link. You can also find us on YouTube, where yes, they do censor us sometimes. Please double check that you are subscribed there. Find us all the time at mrctv.org. That's mrctv.org, where you can see what the whole team is doing. And you can contribute to the big fundraiser that's happening for the MRC. And you can find the MRC TV store and great, get some great items there. You can also check us out on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on TikTok. And if you want to find us on Facebook, you'll see that the folks who are in Facebook are very busy with great comments. You can find me on Gab. I'm at Gardner Goldsmith on Gab. And on X, I'm at Gard Goldsmith. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please check out the videos as often as you can and spread the word. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.